Have you ever been super excited about a trip, but not so excited about planning it? Well, in this week's video, I'm talking to you about three super easy tools I use every single time I plan my travel. If you're new here, I'm Christine with Where in the World is CL, and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. And this is my two minute travel Tuesday video in which we're talking about topics like this in under two minutes in theory. So start that timer. Something tells me you already know about the magic trifecta of these three tools, but I might have some pro tips that will help you use them in new ways, as well as save time, money, and come up with some new ideas for your trips. Let's start with Google Flights, because this is my favorite airline aggregator. I have three pro tips for you. The first one is to turn on that tracker alert. It's a great way to just simply get an email alert of what the updated price is if you're tracking a future trip. The second one is to turn on the calendar view, and this allows you, especially if you're flexible when you're coming and going to maybe shift your travel by a day or two and save a ton of extra money. The third one is to consider adding another airport. So if I'm flying out of Fort Lauderdale, oh yeah, Miami's right there. I might save a ton of money by flying out of Miami. The second tool I love to use is TripAdvisor. Do you ever ask yourself, how many days should I spend at my destination? I love to use it for two reasons. The first is for activities and things to do. I like to look at all the different activities and sort them by type to see and get a feel for how much is there to do in this place. The second thing I like to use TripAdvisor for is ideas on where to stay. And I like to sort it by traveler ranking because I wanna know what the people have to say. And my pro tip for you, I like to turn on the map because depending on my activities, I might wanna choose within a subset of hotels or accommodations that are within that area. Tool number three is Google Maps and it ain't just about getting from A to B. I love to download the map. Super important if you're traveling abroad, you don't have cellular service and you don't have Wi-Fi, but you can still navigate navigate if you download the map. Also awesome, if you're going on a hike, you're using Google Maps for a hiking trail and you don't have any service. Cheers that like button. If you got some value out of this, consider sharing it. I'm here every week making new travel videos. I'll see you in the next adventure. Ciao.